Hi right, all, like the title suggests, in today's video, we're going to be updating the BIOS of the Asus Prime X470 Pro motherboard and some of the benefits they will give you by updating that BIOS. Let me roll an intro and we'll get into the video. Hey y'all, if you're new around here and you like technology and you want to type but you go down there make sure you give me a thumbs up on the video. Give me a thumbs down if you don't. Look at that comment section. I'll get through them every weekend on my live stream here at 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time on Saturday morning. And also, don't forget that lovely subscribe button, that notification bell. That way you're notified next time I put out a video, I'll get live here on YouTube. Like I said in the intro and the title suggests, you know, today we're going to be updating the BIOS on the Asus Prime X470 Pro motherboard. And I'd like to go through some of the reasons why you'd want to why you want to update your BIOS. Now there's some people out there with the school of thought is, you know, if your system is running fine, don't mess with it. Because it is a little dangerous, you know, I've said in my other videos, I've said it again, you know, I always make sure my computer's hooked up to a UPS, an un uninterruptible power supply, because if you lose power while you're doing the BIOS update, you break your motherboard, your motherboard won't work no more, you have to send it in and get the chip replaced. That's a big hassle nobody wants to do, so I always make sure mine's plugged into UPS. But some of the reasons why you'd want to do a BIOS update, you come over here and just search the website from Asus for Prime X470 Pro, and anytime you do this, make sure you go to the manufacturer's website to get these BIOSes. I wouldn't get them from no place else. Okay, my mine was on version 5204, okay? And I have took mine all the way up to 5406. Now, what kind of improvements am I going to get with my motherboard by doing this? A lot of them is good stuff. Some of it is bad stuff. But, you know, it is what it is. You've got to take the good and the bad when you do this. Okay, it improves the system performance. It don't really specify what it does for it, but it does improve the system performance. Okay, updates AMD combo. PI 1.0.0.3 patch ABB. And if you look that up, if you look that up and you read down through the article here, this error is on the Guru of 3D. And there's a lot of different places that have these kind of articles. So you just type that in or you copy and paste it into Google, you can find the articles on this stuff. It actually boosts the behavior or boosts the CPU better manually you know if you leave it in stock settings the way it's got the boots clock and the base clock and whatnot it boosts better once once these firmware firmware are added to it okay this one here may you may not concern you it fixes compatibility issues with dynasty 2 if you play dynasty 2 or if you plan on playing dynasty 2 the bios affects this you know um up to this update here on 9.9 of 2019, Ryzen processors without this fix wasn't even able to boot into Dynasty 2. So that's a that's a pretty big thing if you're a Dynasty 2 player. You know, it fixes issues with certain Linux distros. That ain't too big of a thing unless you're really into Linux and you want to use it for Linux. Then, you know, this uh, updating the BIOS can fix that. The next thing ain't too good. It removes the Gen 4 support when when uh, when using Ryzen 3000 CPUs. Okay, this ain't a very good thing because it eliminates uh, the PCI 16 slot from using PCI 4 4.0 instead of 3.0. But this is AMD. This ain't the motherboard manufacturer's causing this. This is AMD. Anything prior to the X570 motherboard, they don't want you running PCI Express 4.0. You know, they, they're trying to offset the world 570s, the only one that can run that. Now, which ain't, you know, which you could roll back your buyers if they were running PCI 4.0 on the X470 if you want to. You know, as long as you uh, stay below this 5216. You can still be running your 4.0 Express on it. 
um, improves easy flash performance to reduce boot time. So when you first turn your computer and you have that boot time into the splash screen, into the bio screen, that's what that does. Okay, and again up here, the next version of it, it has that uh, Aegis 1.0.0.3 ABBA this time. Improves performance. It makes your CPU to work and boost better. Okay. Then up here with the last one that it updates to. Is AM4 Combo PI 1.0.0.4 Patch B. Which again, does the same thing. It helps the CPU work at its max capacity. These are some of the, some of the benefits this motherboard gives you by updating your BIOS. Um, if you see my other video on how to update the BIOS on the Gigabyte B450 DSM DS3H motherboard, you know, it goes into memory compatibility and stuff like that. If your system's up and running and it's doing well, you can either update the BIOS or you can leave it alone. It's your choice. I'm not telling you which way. I'm just here just to show you how it's done if you want to do it. So let's roll away a clip and I'll show you how I'll show you how to get that done and get that virus updated. Then I'll be back with my conclusion to the video. Here's the clip. Alright guys, like I said in the intro, today we're going to be updating the BIOS on the ASUS Prime X470 Pro motherboard. Um, you can go into the BIOS and see what version you've got. While I'm in Windows, I usually use this little program called CPU-Z. It's a free download. Um, you go over here to the main board. It tells you right down here the bias version we the, the, it's on this motherboard that I got is five two o four. All right, let's go to the website for ASUS. It should pop up here. There we go. Go over to uh, make sure you go on the ASUS website. There's your motherboard. Go over here to support go to drivers and tools select your uh, windows okay and here's the latest bios it was released on 11 25 of 2019 so we're going to hit the download button there it is um let's go to, we'll put in the downloads we're going to open it Got to extract it all, and you need to browse. I've already got my USB plugged in, and mine's little E, USB drive E. We're going to select the folder, and we're going to hit extract. It's only going to take a few seconds. And there's what we're going to need. So we can exit out of that, we can exit out of that. We can exit out of the site. Go down here and exit out of CPU Z. I'm gonna go down here and hit the restart button. Hit delete or F2 to enter UEFI. Okay, once you get to here, this is the first screen that comes up. And it's that uh, pairs your BIOS version and your BIOS. It says BIOS version 5204. So there we go. That's just verifying what BIOSes we've got already. Let's go down here to the advanced mode. Go over to tools. Uh, ASUS EZ Flash 3 Utility. Click on that. This screen here is going to pop up. It says Easy Flash. Uh, please select the BIOS update method. You can either do it via the internet or you can do it USB. So we're going to select the uh, via storage device. I hit next. And right there it recognizes the USB. They got it set as FS03 for some reason. Come down here. Pick this bottom one here. And you hit yes. It says Easy Flash. Do you want to read this file? You hit yes. Do you really want to update your BIOS? And it tells you the version you're going to be going up to 504, uh, 
06. It was created on 11-13 of 2019, and you hit yes. Down at the bottom, you see your process, and you let it do its thing. Just sit back and wait. Alright guys, it says update successful, your system will be rest restored. Okay, now we got a message that's please enter our setup to recover bio settings. Press F1. So we're going to press F1. And you look up here at the top corner, it says BIOS version 5406. So it did successfully change it. We updated the BIOS on it. Hit F10 or save and exit. Uh, you have not made any changes in the BIOS setting. We said okay. And let it boot back into Windows. All right, guys, and that's the end of it. Boot it back into Windows. Let me get reset up here, and I'll be back with the conclusion of the video. All right, all. Now, since I showed you the clip, and I showed you how to update that BIOS, which is, it's fairly simple. You know, most manufacturers have got the same, same way of doing this. And, well, I went through the benefits of why you'd want to do this, you know, and a lot of the benefits to it. With this particular motherboard, you know, these updates help your CPU run to its max performance without a box setting. Now, if you're into overclocking and all that, you know, they may not be so important to you. You know, the removal of the times four, you know, the 4.0 for the PCI Express slot ain't, ain't good thing. But like I said, that's the AMD thing. It ain't the motherboard, you know, it ain't the motherboard manufacturer decision to cut out that. And you can always roll back to a older BIOS if you want to run 4.0, but you're going to miss out on some of the other benefits. Even on some of the Intel chips, you know, whenever you do the BIOS update, it'll actually fix some of the meltdowns and whatnot that Intel gets hit with from time to time, you know. So it, it'd be a good thing to do on an Intel chip because of that. And like I said, you know, it fixes some compatibility issues with certain games or, you know, like the Gigabyte B450M DS3H motherboard. You know, it fixes the compatibility with RAM and stuff like that. So, you know, there is some benefits, but if you're happy with the way your system's running and you don't have no problems with it, maybe you won't want to update your body, but that's completely up to you. You know, but this is the way you want, this is the way you do it. I hold no responsibility for this. If you decide to do this, you know you're on your own. And always make sure you're plugged into a UPS. That way you know you don't lose power and you don't break your motherboard that way. But with all that being said, I think that's going to do it for this video. Make sure you give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Thumbs down if you don't like it. Because that comment section, I'll go through them every weekend on my live show here. Saturday morning, 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Don't forget that lonely little subscribe button and notification bell where you're notified next time I put out a video I go live. Go down in the description. There's also links to Twitter and Instagram if you'd like to go over there and follow me. With all that being said, you all have a good day. And I'll see you in the next video or live.